Hey, so what up guys? Matt here with Drive Type back again with another video for you guys. And in this video, Lifeproof Malaysia has actually kindly sponsored us three different series from its lineup, which is the Slam, the Next, as well as the Free. The Free has been around for a couple of years now, ever since the iPhone 4. We will go in order. So in this video, we're going to be focusing on the Slam and subsequently Next and then Free. Without further ado, let's get this video started. guys so we are back and if you haven't subscribed to this channel already hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest content which i post okay so just a little disclaimer is that i'm actually using the huawei p30 pro on the latest firmware to actually shoot this video so you tell me in the comments how the video looks like i'm actually seeing a reddish tint on the videos i'm not sure why only in video mode and not in photo mode so i think the color science is a bit out here you can see but anyways let's keep this video moving so the slam case is actually Life Proof's entry series. It provides the same amount of drop protection as the others. But of course, not all the features as compared to the Life Proof Fray or the Next. So the reason I actually separated this video into three different segments is because I want to test them out before giving you my thoughts about it because nothing is better than actually testing the case out for yourself. So I've actually been testing out the Slam so you can see on my 10R right here. So I've been testing out for about two weeks to see how this case holds up whether it gets scratched up which is usually a major concern considering that this is a clear back case okay so now i'll be actually demonstrating it on the iphone 10s max you can see i really took the case out of the 10 hour box so let's run through the packaging itself so you can see life proof slam you can see it's only drop proof versus the others you can see for the iphone 10s max they have have it in a couple of colors so this is the more forgiving color, I should say. Okay, so you can see for 10s Max, and this is for the 10R. So let's take a look at the back. So you can see this is the official product. You can see reinforced technology resists hard hits, survives drops from up to two meters. You can see this is form for a slim, sleek profile, transparent shell. Okay, so let's open the packaging. So you can see very similar to Autobox Symmetry series. If you have watched my previous video, you can see just the case and also a tool to actually remove the case let me take that out as well and show you how that works later on so let's take a look at the case itself so you can see on the right side life proof branding and power button left side volume up and down and your mute and ring switch on the top nothing on the bottom the speaker lightning port as well as your microphone on the back clear back and this is actually polycarbonate so taking a look at the camera cutout more than adequate camera cutout right there. You can see the inside of the case is actually lined with TPU inside. So if you do drop your device, you're not going to worry about the phone getting damaged inside because it will take all the shock. Okay, taking a look at the insides, similar on all corners. Okay, so now let me show you how to use this tool to actually remove the case or take apart the case, I should say. So now you just slot this in and you twist it. Very simple. Take this case apart. It's not a case that you want to take on and off regularly. Okay, so you can see me taking out my tennis Max. Let me put my tennis Max inside here. So I like to go in bottom first. Just make sure everything lines up. You can see right here, everything is nice and snug. Now putting in the back portion of this case. Make sure all the corners snap on. So as simple as that. So you do not have to worry about the installation because the in installation process is actually pretty easy and straightforward. You can see right there. You can see everything is tip top in terms of uh, design. So you can see same with my 10R case, exactly the same, except for the dimensions, of course. Okay, so now let's check wireless charging. Put the key to the side, bring the wireless charger right here. Okay, so let's try wireless charging. Let me bring the wireless charger up so you can see the icon for yourself. You can see it's charging, no problems. Okay, now for the 10R version. You can see wireless charging, no problems also. Okay, so let me give you my thoughts about this case. Okay, so let's start with the good things about this case is that 
this case is actually pretty slim. Of course, I'm not talking about the width of the case, but in terms of the thickness of this case, it is actually slim, I should say. It's almost like the outer box symmetry in terms of thickness. Maybe it's slightly thicker. And I'm loving actually the clear back because I like to show off the device. I mean, if you cover up, what's the point, right? So I like really like the clear back. And of course, the cutouts are spot on. You can see all the cutouts. No issues right there. I actually love the cutouts. I mean, it fits even third party lightning cables as well. So in terms of the buttons, I think the buttons are good enough. They are tactile. Of course, I believe that they do take time to break in because this is still pretty new. It's only two weeks. But anyway, they are actually very tactile. You can hear them. Very tactile buttons. So you shouldn't have a problem using them right there. Okay, now let's talk about the bad stuff, which is probably for those that have small hands. Okay, just saying you have a 10s Max and you buy this case. If you haven't noticed already that the borders of this case are actually pretty thick. So if you're using a huge phone like the 10s Max, it's really going to be very hard to handle, considering that the 10s Max is already a phone that is pretty hard to maneuver. However, if you have the iPhone XR, it is not too bad. Of course, it does increase the width of the device as well as the height. But it's not really a deal breaker for me because I have big hands, so I do not have an issue using big phones and pretty huge cases as well. But if you do have small hands, you have to consider the fact that it's definitely going to make the device wider and taller. But in terms of thickness, it is definitely manageable. Okay, so now talking about screen protector compatibility. I have a full H2H -H tempered glass on my 10R and you can see there's more than enough space for you to use a full tempered glass screen protector. After using for two weeks, I do like this case. I just wish this lineup had pot covers or these pot protectors. Okay, so let's talk about price. So this case actually competes with the Autobox Symmetry. But in terms of protection wise, I should say both of them are on par. And the price of this is actually 169 ringgit, so it's not really that expensive. But in terms of the colors, some people might not fancy the green color around here, but uh, I, I do not mind them. But of course, they have a couple of colors like pink and so on and so forth. You can check that out on the website. I will leave all these cases in the link below for international and Malaysia buyers. So you can check that out if you are interested in this case. But in my opinion, I would rather go with the LifeProof Next, which I will talk about in the next video. So this case is overall a pretty good case. So that's all for this video today. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more content. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.